me show you the analog uh, to this particular scenario. Uh, like it's a it's a short term bearish, intermediate term bullish scenario, right? So we still going down here, but then we're stopping at the support and then we're recovering. Um, I find it very interesting that gold has the same pattern. When we look at this whole trading range, look at what we're seeing here. Actually, let me just increase the size here. Yeah, perfect. Um, so area number one, we said first area is gonna be our downtrend. And this downtrend is gonna be associated with a lot of volatility, with a lot of selling, kind of like this sharp declines, right? On a lot of institutional selling. So that's great. Then we're gonna stop uh, at some kind of, you know, support, and then we're gonna test. So that's number uh, number beginning of number two, which is basically a change of behavior rally. Does that remind you of what we've just seen in the S&P? And then it's very interesting reaction that we have afterwards reaction number three is actually pretty aggressive and you kind of could see a lot of volatility there as well and we see that on the fed bar we see this on the um on this on the cpi bar right so i mean like there are quite a few bars there that would tell us still that oh there is a lot of selling there is a lot of selling but look how it stops here at the support and look at how it has this and kind of like a little bit of a stupid bar uh, where it goes down intraday all the way to the support and then it recovers and creates a demand um, uh, demand tail. I wonder if tomorrow we're going to see something similar. Uh, and uh, I wonder if both the bears and the bulls are going to be puzzled with what is going on because even though it seems like at the beginning the short-term bias is to the downside which i would agree with we are in the downswing currently the volatility increases and the price goes down so the bears are going to feel really good they're making the money the key for them is is the price breaking the support or not that's going to be a big 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 point tomorrow um, if it's going to go down and then out of this, a rally comes and pretty aggressive. So bears are gonna be suffering from like, oh, um, you know, I didn't close my short position. It was very profitable. And now I have to suffer through the rally. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for the test. As they wait, they can just like, you know, the, 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 some of their positions are gonna be just uh, taken out. So some kind of significant rally uh, as a change of behavior rally at point number four. This change of behavior rally is local, which is suggestive of some kind of uh, switch from uh, a downtrending environment, specifically a downswing, into the non-trading environment, specifically a trading range. And then during this trading range, we're going to see, point number five, some kind of absorption. Uh, so absorption where the, there are some retests, so test, test number one, and then you have the tests throughout the whole area and kind of like on the upside here. Uh, 